the sun is out and it finally feels like spring and this week we have two new furry friends that have arrived at the manor and I'm going to introduce you to them. I also finally get to see my gorgeous green paint on the wall for the very first time in the green room and we have some very very exciting news because today we will be announcing the theme for our summer market this year on the 15th and 16th of July so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what our theme will be and don't forget if you're enjoying our videos make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel the Lady Smith Manor Diaries to ensure you see all our videos as soon as they come out but first come on in and let me show you what we've been up to this week the green room is getting its first coat of green to make it the green room, right? Because at the moment it does not look any, well, there's no green in here. So I'm very excited because I chose this paint color. I love it, but I've never seen it on the wall. So I'm actually gonna start with this wall behind the fireplace mantle to do first coat. Um, so we're just gonna be doing the top half of this wall and um, then we'll get to see what it looks like on the wall. So let's see how this looks on the wall. So my first wall of green is done and I am loving this colour. I'm so pleased with it. It'll darken up a little bit when it dries and it's still only the first coat, but it just, I love the tone of it and uh, how it contrasts with the black mantle. And uh, at the bottom of the wall around the room, we're gonna be doing a lighter colour panelling. And uh, you can see here, I got a little carried away and completely forgot and went down a little bit too far with my green, but it's got me thinking whether we should do the light at the bottom here behind the fireplace or whether this whole wall should be green all the way to the floor. So let me know what you think. Should we um, put, leave the bottom in a lighter color which will then match the rest of the, wall, uh, the walls because on the right and the left of this green will be our wallpaper at the top and then the paneling, light paneling at the bottom. So should we keep this wall as I've painted it now with the light at the bottom. And obviously behind the mantle will be, uh, we're gonna be doing something behind there. So really it's only these two end pieces on either side. But uh, the other option is I do paint the whole wall green. Can't quite decide, I'm gonna leave it as is right now and come back to it. But I'm really, really happy with how this has worked. This week we welcomed two new furry friends to the manor and they've actually arrived in our mural and uh, work has continued this week. Jackie and Peggy have been back several times. Uh, we're almost finished but today I wanted to introduce you to our new, two new friends that now live here in our mural here at the manor and it was actually Stephen who requested, he requested two little friends well, actually, I think we're going to get three, but I'm not going to tell you what the third one is, but that's going to be coming this week. But the two we have already are, he asked for an owl and a squirrel. So we now have a beautiful barn owl in our tree, which I just absolutely love. Jackie's done such an amazing job of painting the barn owl. And she's also added a cheeky little squirrel that uh, is hiding in the trunk of our tree. And just the detail, it just blows me away the detail she's put into these um, beautiful um, creatures. And as I said, we're still working, they're still working, they're gonna be back a few more times. They've still got some leaves to do, so a little bit more of the background, etc. But uh, we're very, very close. But I am just so thrilled that we have these little characters that will be here to greet you when you come to the manor. So you'll have to make sure next time you visit, you keep an eye out for them um, so you can spot them on our mural. And then obviously in our other room, in the reception room, we've got lots of characters in there to, for you to, to, to look for and see if you can find. So, um, but I'm just so, th so thrilled. These leaves behind me are just amazing. And uh, it's astonishing to get up close and to look at all the detail. So today I am putting the top coat on the top of our bar here in the park. And this is the oak that we use from the tree that we cut down outside. We've stained it 
and uh, now I've let the stain dry, I always like to leave it several days just to ensure that it's all dried. And now I'm putting the clear coat on and we actually, I think we're gonna be putting four coats of this on just to give it a really good hard wearing um, top. It's kind of just a, it's a, it's a slight satin uh, finish. So it really brings the grain out beautifully and um, just makes it um, really easy to wipe down and clean and stops any of the wood getting damaged. Um, so I'm really excited to see it with this top coat on because I think it's going to just really make the wood look even, even nicer than it does already. The first coat of top coat is now done and you can really see how it brings out the grain of the wood beautifully. So I'm just gonna wait for this to dry and then three more coats to go. My mailboxes are now up on the wall, so come see what they look like. So my mailboxes are on the wall and all ready to go and they're looking absolutely fantastic. Stephen did an amazing job of um, putting the box onto the wall, fixing the box, and then the um, actual mailbox is onto the wall so it's all safe and secure. And it is, looks so fantastic for me to store all my uh, coffee and bits and pieces that we'll be selling here in the park. And uh, inside, we have taken out some of the dividers. Some of them are actually welded in and we can't take out. Um, but there's still space for me to store t-shirts and coffee and uh, different items that will be our extras. And then this wall now, you can see my chair is at the top ready for my t-shirts to be hanging from that. Um, I'm going to use the bar underneath for the t-shirts to hang. And then I'm going to create a display wall here with different crates and vintage pieces, different shelves where we will display some of the items that you can take home when you come and visit us at the map. And uh, so, but this was our first piece, it's now ready to go. And all I've got to do now is change these white labels into something, I'm gonna put some uh, nice vintage cards inside just so uh, there, it looks, looks a little bit more authentic. But I am just thrilled and uh, can't wait to get designing on my display wall. So I'm up here in the library and uh, I've picked out a very special book because I wanted to share some very exciting news with you because we have decided on our theme for our summer market this year. Now, if you remember, the very first year we did a vintage village fair. The second year, last year, we did a French country market. So this year I wanted to do something a little bit different. Obviously, we do majority or some of our market outside. So we wanted it to have that kind of garden feel, but got me thinking about what the theme could be. And it took me right back to a book and a book that was one of my absolute favorites as a child. And uh, this is the book, The Secret Garden. And uh, I don't know whether it's something I know that it's a, a favorite with many, many people, but I remember reading this as a child and just being enchanted by this book. And I've got it out again, because I'm gonna read it again. Um, but we are gonna be using this as our theme for our market, and I cannot wait to create something very special. Um, we're gonna use some of the themes from, and the ideas from the book, and we're gonna kind of like weave them into some of the decor and some of the things that we're doing here at the market in July. So if you haven't got it already in your calendar, 15th and 16th of July is our summer market. We will be releasing many, much more information and all the details about the activities, the vendors and all the good stuff um, over the coming weeks. Um, and obviously we will be releasing the tickets as well so that you can join us, um, but, the exciting news today is that our theme will be The Secret Garden. And if this is one of your favorite books, I would love to hear what your favorite part of The Secret Garden is. So make sure you comment in the comments below and uh, let me know your favorite character, your favorite uh, you know, scene in the, in the book, your favorite part of the book, um, because I would love to hear that. Um, and uh, like I say, we will be taking some of the themes from this and weaving them into 
the market and the decorations. And so uh, I will be sharing with you some behind the scenes as we get closer to the market on some of the ideas and the, some of the things that I'm gonna be working on to create that theme, but I cannot wait. In fact, I've never actually seen the movie, um, which is crazy considering how much I love the book. Um, but there's something about the, the imagination, and so I always love to read the books first before I see any movie, because I like to allow my imagination to imagine it from the pages and the words in the book. Um, but I am going to watch the movie, because um, I'd love to see their interpretation, uh, and uh, hopefully we can really take some of the uh, most important pieces and the most fun pieces from this book and create something really special that you're going to enjoy when you come and visit our market in July. So, I'm going to go back to reading because uh, I have my coffee here, I have my book, and I'm in the library. What more, what more could I ask for? So I will see you back here next week for our next episode of the Lady Smith Manor Diaries.